Welcome to part 2 of me and the Polish combination lock. If you don't know what that is, please go and check out my video 625 for more information. Quickly, there is a Polish engineer who has invented and designed a new combination lock mechanism and here is one 3D printed model. He sent it to me to see if I am able to decode it because he claims that no one can crack his new mechanism. He has called out a challenge for recognized people to, um, to try out his mechanism for one week and see if they can open his lock without knowing the combination. The lock um, arrived today and I had a good amount of play with it already and I can tell you that the feedback is not as I expected. Before I go into the method that I tried to decode this lock, I want to quickly explain to you again how this lock operates. So here we have five rings with 20 numbers on each and we can turn them uh, to the left quite easily and not so easy to the right because then the knob turns along and the knob lowers a bar that is uh, on the actuator and then it engages with the gates on the inner wheels. So you have to dial in the right code. Let's assume that is the right code. Then you would be able to turn the knob all the way to the right, not just like so, because there are false gates, uh, which the bar is currently sitting on. You could then, if the code was right, turn the knob all the way to the right. The bar on the actuator would come down much more than uh, it is currently here and then the whole wheel pack would be able to be turned to the right I believe and then the shackle would come out. Let me quickly show you how this looks inside. Alright so here we can look inside we can see the internals there is only one inner wheel this plate uh, we have five in the real model we can see that the inner wheel has one true gate and false gates on all the other positions. We can turn the inner wheel by turning the outer dial and when all the true gates are aligned on top we can use this knob here to lower the bar on the actuator. Then the whole pack becomes uh, one solid piece and it can be turned to the right so that, it can <clears throat> so that it then gives free the room for the shackle to come out. The width on the true gate and on, on the false gate is the same. Um, so there is not um, no difference in play that we would expect when we make a, um, a gate test. But I was thinking that in a false gate there is much more um, friction between the wheel and the, and the bar of the actuator compared to the position of the true gate. Because in the true gate there is air between the bar and the end of this uh, gate so there is only movement left and right without any friction but on the, on the false gate we would have friction because the bar is sitting on the gate. Well, I can tell you from uh, some hours of playing with this lock that this little bit of difference between true and gate a uh, true and false gate is not relevant at all. You do not feel anything beside of friction between the wheels, um, play between the outer and the inner wheel and all other kind of weird stuff. So I will clamp this in a vise and I will show you what I mean. And I will tell you a little bit about my frustration to not be able to get any reasonable feedback from this lock. So here's the lock clamped in a vise and an arbitrary code is set. Because we have at least one false gate here um, on one of these inner wheels, the knob here does not turn fully to the right. So now my theory was that you can apply tension by turning the knob and the bar would come down and you would be able to feel a difference in the play of one of these wheels. So let's see. I have just this tool here to easily wiggle left and right 
on the wheels but there's a lot of different feedback different to what I would expect so for example on this wheel you have this kind of movement and I think that's the play that the inner wheel and the outer wheels have so this is not valuable furthermore the whole thing comes up and down and left and right a little bit and yeah, this is quite disturbing also there's a lot of friction between the wheels you can see this also disturbs the tiny bit of valuable feedback you can expect from this difference between a true and a false gate so let's let's pretend we <laughs> want to decode this lock and uh, just want to try the gate testing method so I apply tension you can see many wheels turn at the same time and even if I turn really hard there is on every wheel some kind of feedback and believe me I have been working on this lock for many hours and I've really tried a lot <laughs> to get any kind of reasonable feedback and understand what's going on. You can see it now turns as a whole and even, even if you release tension a little bit it turns as a whole. So would need to turn the knob and maybe hold the other wheels to test this wheel and it's well, it sh I think it shows only the play between the inner and the outer wheel. So let's continue to give you a bit of an example, give a bit of an express impression of what's going on here. So usually you would try to find the binding wheel. So I turn the knob, hold it down. So one wheel should bind the hardest so this knot, this knot, not this, maybe this, maybe that, maybe the, maybe the one closest to the body. And it's very cumbersome to, to hold the other wheels while you want to turn only one wheel and then you have first return the knob and place the knob again to the tension position. It's very time consuming. So is this better? Let's test three. Same kind of feedback. As I said, I tried it with uh, slightly different approaches, with more tension, with less tension, uh, trying to turn it like so or like like so from from the side different kind of methods but nothing really worked I think the feedback that I'm hoping to find is um, yeah is superimposed by all this friction and all this other play that these wheels have in the lock um, and I think it's it's just not possible to decode this lock in the current state. So I think um, that's my decoding attempt video, the third and last part of me and the Polish combination lock will be uh, an opening because I will ask for the right code then we will take it apart look at the internals and maybe understand a little bit better what's going on and can talk about possible applications, advantages and disadvantages of this design. Alright, that's basically it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and decoding. I wish you more luck when you decode a lock. More luck than I have. Bye-bye. <laughs>